The Kyra Montero Show, Season 2, Episode 4. Let's go. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yesterday, then they gone. Right now, it's a new day. Pow. New pitch, new vision, new mercy, new ways. It's a new friend. New friend. Yesterday, then they gone. Right now, it's a new day. New pitch, new vision, new mercy, new ways. It's a new friend. Breath the breath the Father blessing me. Yeah, what's going on, everybody? My name is Kyra Montero, man. I want to personally welcome y'all to the Kyra Montero Show, season two, episode four. Round of applause, man. Yes, sir. Round of applause for that, man. I want to say that I appreciate y'all for tuning in. The metrics have been showing that the more consistent that I am with this podcast. The more downloads, the more views, and the more listeners and supporters that we are getting of this show. So I'm going to start taking this thing a lot more serious, and we're going to try to run it up. So one more time, round of applause, man, for everybody that's tuning in. If you want to go check out a podcast that is specifically for musicians, recording artists, podcasters, music producers, it's audio engineers, etc. We got a podcast presented by Frequency Canvas called Board Talk, and it covers on a lot of things. So hand clap for the Board Talk podcast, man. All right, y'all, episode four, we're going to call this Evolution and Transition. Let me say that again. The title of episode four is called Evolution and Transition. So let me tell you a story. I grew up in the church. By the age of five years old, I started playing the drums. Hopped on the drums on a Sunday morning. They just threw me in and said, play. No lessons, anything, right? Start getting involved in drums. Started rapping shortly after that. And it's crazy because growing up, I had admirations of being a professional drummer. And probably still could to this day if I chose to. But I had, growing up, I had a huge admiration and desire and this drive to be a professional drummer. And if anybody knew me well and and could guess, like, what is Kyron going to be when he grows up, everybody would have said a professional drummer. That, that just would have made sense, right? Fast forward, teenagers in the high school, life happens, need something to vent to, need an outlet to get my emotions on. I start writing songs more and more. All of a sudden, this demand for music came, right? Then I started creating and producing songs and writing songs a lot more. Keep in mind, I have been rapping this whole time. Uh, My father, the late great Elder Grady Speed, is the reason that I got into all of this. But music started becoming music creation, song creation, record production, start becoming more to the forefront than me being a drummer, right? And due to that, I became an artist known as The Messenger, right? In the Christian hip-hop world, I started gaining a lot of traction independently. I started doing shows. I started touring, right? And all of a sudden, the guy that wanted to be a professional drummer now has a fan base as an independent recording artist, Right. So I don't fight it. I was making beats and producing music in 2010. I stopped making beats. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put all of my efforts into being an artist. I I was running a small boutique label called Holy Soldier Records, which eventually turned into Engage Records and a fight squad movement. But I wanted to devote all of my time and effort into being a recording artist, booking shows and, and putting all my efforts and finances into getting my music out, right? So then I go through some life, life happens, and it was a desire as well, but being the messenger forced and turned 
what is known as Kyra Montero, the professional audio engineer, right? And now that that is birthed, the audio production company that we have called Frequency Canvas and all of that. What what I'm what I'm telling this story to get at is is to talk about evolution and transition. You may be doing something right now or may have been doing something for a while. Whatever it is, could be running a business, could be relationships, it could be certain goals that you have, but you cannot ignore evolution and progression in life and you don't want to fight it. I told you that story to show you that at one point I wanted to be a professional drummer, but a desire in life made sense and then I pivoted into being a recording artist. Then there was a pivot that was made into being an audio engineer, right? And so that's what we want to talk about today, evolution and transition, right? So I got got a few points for y'all, and then we're going to get up off this thing, man. But I thought that this was good because I think that as people, we struggle with when to pivot. We struggle when to stop doing something or to take something that we're doing and transition and, and allow growth and progression. Where It's easy to stay comfortable doing one thing, but the only way that you become great is to be uncomfortable, right? So the first point that I got is to become a sponge and learn everything, right? I'm going to say that one more time. Become a sponge and learn everything. I think when they say that knowledge is power, well, apply knowledge is power. That's the real thing. But knowledge is power, right? So at the end of the day, the more that you know, the more that you learn, the more capable that you are, it just makes you that more dangerous. It makes you that much more versatile. And if you're going to transition and evolve into other things, right, then you have to be capable of having that knowledge you have to be capable of being able to have that mental roller decks to have those capabilities to transition into other things so learn everything whatever career field you're in whatever you're doing in life whatever you want to get into learn everything learn multiple things because you never know where that'll take you second point develop and retain valuable relationships I don't care who you are in life. I don't care how great you think you are. You can't do everything by yourself. Everybody needs help at some point. Everybody needs vessels and everybody needs other people to rely on at the end of the day. Everything happens through relationships. I know that this is said on all kind of podcasts and shows, but no matter how many times it's said, you still get people that think that they can be just a one man bandit, a one woman bandit. You can do that for a while, but eventually you'll crash and burn. Or you can grind out by yourself and do a lot by yourself, but you'll, you'll stay stuck in the same place. Everybody needs somebody to lean on. I got all kind of people around me and in my life that I can lean on and who are here for me. Like, there's no way that anybody gets anywhere by themselves. So not only do you need to develop valuable relationships, but you need to retain those relationships. Check on people. See how people are doing. Stay up to date with people. You know, have retention in those relationships. Don't just establish, but make sure that you retain them. Third, you want to grab mentors in every area of your life that that have the social proof. Or another way to say that is grab mentors in your area of services that have the social proof, right? So whatever my goal is, let's say I have a goal of starting a cleaning business. I want to go find somebody that is successful at starting a cleaning business. And I want to learn from them. Even if I have to pay for it, I want to learn from them. And I want to get the game and soak all of that game up so that what I'm trying to do becomes better at the end of the day. So whatever area that you're focusing in, in life, like I said, whether it's business, rather your social worker, ministry, whatever your area of life is, get some OGs and mentors in that who can pour into you and teach you. I promise that it'll change your life forever. Don't be too proud to go ask people for help. Don't be too cocky to think that you can't learn from people. You need people to go to. You need business mentors. You need life mentors. Like, that's valuable. No matter how successful you are in life, no matter how low you are in life, up or down, 
We all need those, all right? Number four, you want to become the most valuable and undeniable asset in your field. This goes back to kind of the first point of becoming a sponge. When you become a sponge and when you learn everything and you gain that experience, that's going to make you really valuable at the end of the day. And you want to work so hard and you want to get so great and become so great at what you do that when it's time to point in the room like, who is the best at this? Who is the most logical choice for this? You want to be top of mind. You want it to be undeniable. You want to be able to make sure without a shadow of a doubt, it's you. That That is definitely going to get you further. And the fifth point and the last point, know when it is time to make moves and transitions. Know when it is time to transition and make moves. That's another way we can say it. And basically what I mean by that is, after you've done all of that, you got to have the wisdom to know when it's time to transition. You have to know when it's time to jump in and out of something. It's kind of like playing the stock market game. You got to know when to pull in and pull out. Your life will tell you when it's time. Your surroundings, the way that guy uses things to speak, it will tell you when to transition at the end of the day. You don't want to do it too late. You don't want to do it too soon. We'll make mistakes. None of us are perfect. But you want to try to have that time and right. If there's an opportunity and it's great for you, go for it. If it makes sense, if you meditated about it, you prayed about it, you got people around you that you can confide in with some wisdom and everything seems like a go, it may be uncomfortable, it may be a risk, but do it at the end of the day. So you have to know when it's time. So I hope that this episode has been great for y'all. It's not a long one at all. Hand clap, man. For all the listeners out there, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe uh, to our podcast. Where podcasts are available at Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, places like that. If you want to catch the high definition videos, head over to the YouTube. Ch- uh, head over to my YouTube channel. Search the Kyra Montero show. It'll come up. You got high definition. Uh, videos there. Check out KyronMontero.com, FrequencyCanvas.com, EngageRecords.net. Get some merchandise. Contact us for audio production services. And yeah, we're going to be out this thing. But in Kyron Montero fashion, we're going to get some hot music on this thing to end on. But I do hope that this episode number four of season two called Evolution and Transition. I know it was short, but I hope that that was some valuable stuff. And some food for thought for y'all to think on as y'all continue to go through your week and your days, man. All right, hit it. Yes, sir. Yesterday, then they gone. Right now, it's, it's a, a new, new day. day. New picture, yeah. new vision, Word. new mercy, yeah. new way. Yeah. It's a new friend. New friend, new friend, new friend. New friend. Yesterday, dead and gone. Right now, it's a new day. New picture, new vision, new mercies, new ways. It's a new friend. It's a new friend. New friend, new friend, new friend, new friend. Moment to moment, I'm building my legacy. Uh, breath to breath, the father blessing me, yeah. Keep on cooking, got the recipe, yeah. School opposition, that's just to me. I'm focused on now, I ain't looking back. Only the ones better think of that. I only got now, gotta stay on track. Getting stronger where well, I know I lack. And I gotta stay focused, it's a new day Cause the drip got flavor like Kool-Aid See the high definition like, like Blu-ray yeah. And the true ad-lib like 2 chains. Put a gasoline out, small new flames yeah. New moment, new way, yeah, new day yeah. Kyra Montero Show, Season 2, Episode 4 Y'all stay locked in, be blessed